Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the featherweight bout between Mike Trezano versus Sungwoo Choi. And honestly, right here is I'm gonna go average confidence Mike Trezano to beat Sungwoo Choi. These, these guys are looking all that stellar right now. And I can say, oh, Sungwoo Choi has power. He has looked better as a recent and whatnot. But I feel as far as recently, um, Sumo Choi has become too predictable on the feet. I think the Alex Caceres fight was the first shift in that. Like he started, I think he hurt. Um, well, I, guess, I don't know if that's an initial start, but at least the initial L streak is started with. I mean, ease, ease, wheeze. <laughs> it did start with um, Alex Caceres. Like he had Alex Caceres hurt. Then he just started to, like, even though he could clearly see the fight shift, or maybe he don't. You you locked in, you tunnel vision. You don't see like that the fight shifting away from you. You just constantly looking for that same big punch, same big punch, loading up, looking for that same big punch. And the guy starts exploiting from you. They start to counter you. They start to hurt you. Like, even though they can have pillow hands, you start looking for a shot. You in a zone, you like bot mode, swinging the punch. They duck on and catch up some on top, sneak a little check hook, graze your, your, your the, the chin hair on your, your beard, <laughs> on, the, on the tip of your chin. And now you start, your knees start to bump. Like, what's happening? I had this guy hurt because you, you started to come out there, you turn full bot mode. You look, look for one big punch. You telegraph your hands low. Hands at the hip, you trying to swing land, and you trying to even for the straight punch, you like hand at the hip, you trying to do that same punch. Guys see that, they can hurt you, and they all of a sudden, or they could just spin you to take you back, like Alex Caceres did. Like, and even last fight, he was, I think the good adjustment he made was in the grappling adjustment, but it was too late to make that adjustment. But the whole fight, he was out to look for one, like looking for one big shot, looking slow, looking predictable, and um, Kuliba was picking him apart, mixing him up, hurting him, just destroying him, man. And then like the light, later adjustment was a takedown. But again, too late in the fight. And you could say, oh, maybe in this fight he's going to try to do the takedown earlier in the fight. But Trezano, when I look at his, his record, historically he hasn't did that well. I mean, he hasn't done that bad against grapplers outside of Grant Dawson, who we have seen to be a, a stud in the grappling department. And no insult to Sun Wu Choi, but he has not shown to be a grappling stud. I feel it more so he has lost grappling situations than he has won them. I'm not saying that his grappling is low or anything, but it's definitely not the level of Grant Dawson. So I just feel like um, Trezano should be able to stuff the takedowns, and at the very least, Trezano, technique wise, can match um, Sumo Choi if not surpassing. And on the biggest, I guess, nail is the fact that Sumo Choi has been very predictable with late. You know, kind of relying on big puncher, a puncher's chance, or just keeping the value relatively close and edging with power. But again, the predictability, I'm going to go with Trezano. You're predictable, being predictable in, a, in a, anything competitive, it's just not a good recipe. You're predictable at chess. People know your move. They're going to play. They're going to work the circuit around you. You play, you're a football player, you know, like a quarterback, and y'all got to run the same play. People will intercept you. They know what you're going to do. So in a relatively close and uninspiring fight, I'm leaning against the predictable guy, and I'm going to go with Rosano to be, just uh, take advantage of him loading up on shots and probably beat him to a, a decision. Still probably be relatively close. Rosano ain't been looking good. Probably get tagged a couple times. If I be close, very close, probably even split decision, but Trezano more so taking advantage of um, Sumo Choi being predictable. Maybe mix his own takedowns in there. Like, you show that side of his game, go for his own takedowns. But for the most part, probably just exploiting um, the loading up, the telegraphing from, and you know, the one the one track mindedness of Sumo Choi. And, when, then, and also, when Sumo Choi tries to mix it up, probably make him pay for that as well. It's be the stuff is takedown, probably land some knees, probably reverse him against the cage, and this. I'll strike him, outland him, and again, take advantage of him being predictable, and then take advantage of him maybe going for desperate measures, trying to mix in the takedown. So, in this one, I got Mike Trezano via decision.